Does this DLC leak confirm the next two characters joining Tekken 8? So here's the thing, I've been covering Tekken 8 on my channel for the past 9 months. And while covering this game and trying to keep you guys up to date with all the news, changes, and new characters that we're getting, there were a lot of leaks before this game came out. And honestly, there were some even after the game came out. And even if you look at my channel, the most popular video on it right now is reviewing one of these leaks. I'm sure you guys remember this image right here. Eddie, Alex, Fakuram, Julia, Lei, Armor King, and Roger. Now, the funny thing is, I was able to make a follow-up video to this since Eddie was the first DLC character announced, saying that this leak could possibly be true. Obviously, we now know it isn't. Because let's face it, Eddie was on almost everyone's DLC wishlist. But I mean, just looking at this, the placement of the DLC characters and Eddie's PFP already shows that this is fake. And while I'd like for it to be true, because I do think that some of these characters are gonna get in the game. Hashtag bring Lei Long back. Also, in my opinion, Armor King is a no-brainer. But another DLC leak that I find funny is the Josie Rosal reveal. Another one of my videos that that just skyrocketed the second I put it out, which we all know literally the day of was debunked by Michael Murray. Then of course, if you guys remember this image saying that Fighter Pass 1 would have Roger, some character named Xiao Meng, Armor King, and Eddie Gordo, a lot of people thought this one was true since Eddie was confirmed to be the first DLC character. And the thing is, now that we know Lydia is up next, all of these are debunked, except one from this guy right here. Now, if you want an in-depth breakdown of this leak slash data mine, you can click on the card that appears on the video now because I go over how he did this and how this proves our next DLC characters. Now, the thing is here, if this man is right, because now he's been correct with two characters, Eddie and Lydia, that gives him some credibility. And if we're following this data mine slash leak, then that means the next two characters for this season pass is Craig Marduk and Fakum Ra. And I think it's funny that since Lydia came out, we figured out that the colors correspond with the character a lot of people are using these colors to try and figure out what character's next. And I saw this image on Reddit that showed what most of the fans probably want the DLC to actually be. But of course, if this leak right here is true, then that's not what we're getting. So if these guys are in fact the last two characters, which one's coming first? Well, if we look at the color scheme of Autumn and Winter, I think it's fair to assume that Craig is going to be next. Now, this isn't the exact color he had in T7, but it's pretty close. And the Winter color fits with Fakumram's skin. I don't know, maybe his shorts will have a different color. This orange just seems more like him than it does Craig. Craig. That's just my opinion, at least. And honestly, I'm fine with Craig coming back. He's a classic since T4. I mean, I don't know if there are any Craig Marduk mains out there, so if you exist, let me know in the comments down below. But even in T7, I feel like I didn't see him too much when I played online. And then with Winter, well, well I just don't care for Faku Rom. I don't know. Bruce is better, in my opinion. He can't change my mind. To me, Eddie's gonna be the most exciting character in this DLC, which kind of sucks, because usually you want each character to be, like, more hype and exciting. Obviously, it's all personal preference, but Eddie joining as an OG from T3 is just awesome. And Lydia, she's alright I guess. I'm interested to try her for the first time and who knows, maybe I'll like her. And I'll leave you guys with one last thought. And I believe I said this like two videos ago, but I think in each season the first and maybe last DLC characters are gonna be the most important. Or most hype at least. So like for season 2, the first character, I could see that being Armor King. Everybody wants him back in. For season 3, I could see it being Anna Williams. Wouldn't be my first choice, but she is a classic. Season 4, God, please. Lay. So I don't know, it'll then be interesting to see what characters they follow up with. I just feel like they'll want to make the first character in the patch the most hype and exciting to get people to want to pay for the entire pass in high hopes that the rest of the characters coming out that year will be as good. I think it'd be funny if we got hit with like an absolute curveball at the end of the season and Winter is just like a guest character from a different game. Hear me out though, Winter fits the color of Gone. Alright, but that'll do it for me today guys. Let me know if you think that this DLC leak is true and if you're excited for these characters. And if you want to chat with me more, feel free to join the Discord. Don't forget I stream Tekken 8 with viewers every week. Thank you for taking time out of your day to watch this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Stay mad.